Hi, I'm Silvio, and this is part the theme of my Christmas Village 2021 full tutorial series. There is no user manual for a Christmas Village. It is far from being the same as assembling furniture from a well-known Swedish company. You know where you need to start, you know where you want to go, and in the middle it is completely up to you. Searching on Google or YouTube for how to build a Christmas village will not get you the results you hoped. It is better if you search for techniques on how to build a Christmas village. What I'm doing here, what I always did, is nothing else than a sum of techniques I've acquired, I've learned and adapted to my personal capacity, to my personal abilities. And it is just what you need to do. Rules. There are no rules for building a Christmas village. Yes, just a little common sense. But what is common, it is not certainly pure true. You want to break those rules, go be bold and break those rules. From now on, I will go and add much, 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 much more details. You don't want to add details on your Christmas village. Don't do them. Don't add them. Just be bold and follow your instinct. I decided to start this part of the 2021 series with something that could consider a continuity between part 12 and part 13, between last part and this part. I will use a, a bunch of files, some cutting tools, some rulers, so, etc. But my main characters will be these two pieces of styrofoam. Both are extruded styrofoam. This is my usual 9mm thick white uh, styrofoam and this one is my 2 centimeters, 20 millimeters thick styrofoam. The white one is 15 centimeters by 8 centimeters and the yellow one is 26 centimeters by 20 centimeters my main actors. Then I will be using some hooks, some eye-shaped hooks, uh, some screw, eye-shaped screw for wood obviously. I don't know yet which one I will be using, the black one or the brass one. The brass one are a little shorter, a little um, smaller than the black one. Uh, I'm working here on the minute, on the second. So I'm not certain yet, I have to check once I start building something. Then I also have my, uh, not my, but a brass chain here, still with its, its original packaging, even this is not a real package, uh, because this one, I'm not convinced that I will be using it, but anyway, I have it with me. Now, what, uh, where, from where uh, do I start? I will start from the yellow one. And I will start by marking some dimension here. I will go with 3 cm there. And then I will go with 3 cm in depth. Okay? So I will be using my square there. Okay. Then three centimeters okay uh, dude now this is three centimeters each side then I will go with three centimeters once more time one more time three centimeters here I need a precise mark there
Five centimeters, let's say. Oh, well, I'm lucky. I've already used this measure before 1.5 centimeters of radius. Okay, let me try to go there. Very impossible to do, I know. Impossible, really impossible. This is not a flat surface. Okay, impossible to do because I don't have the middle, but what I did, I have this one, this little piece here, what I did there, I simply uh, took the corner, the corner here, put the compass there, and then I've marked a uh, 1.5 centimeters radius there, uh, arc of a circle there on each on both on each of the four side there. Okay, so this is from there I will cut. This is the middle there. You already figured out now. Come on, the sh this shape here. I will not tell you, but you know it. Okay, let's say here I have six. So let's say three there and.
3 here. Same thing there. 3 there. And 3 there. Good. This is 2 centimeters, so I will go with. One centimeter. I'm almost lucky there. And one centimeter. Now, let's see. With this one, I will be going. There. With the other one. Let's measure how I have here using just one and one, two. Sorry, I need to open this one. Yes, I can use that now. I will open this one too. I will place them right there. But I also need some glue, some white glue. I'll be back. Okay, some white glue. This no, I will do something strange here. Okay, I will do something strange from just from one side. Hey, but we got a real good feeling. Yes, we do. We're just too lonely, so. Oops. 
first layer just some uh, water and black here Now some drying time, then some brown there and some more black here on the main structure there. Brown and black. Baby, please just take it slow. There's no need to rush things, no Let's figure out a way You know it's you and me Don't care what I say So please don't go away, don't leave Without you, boy, I cannot breathe Let's figure out a way You know it's you and me Don't care what I say Now I will mix some black and some iridescent silver I want a strange mix right now so I will mix black and iridescent silver, okay? painting is done but guys I made a little experiment for you you know that here I've painted with a mix of black and iridescent silver so metallic color I made a little experiment oops I've painted this side here with two layers of pure black okay and you see how it reflects the light I hope you can see I will put them one by side the other and please look how different this one with the same two layers of painting but it is a mix of black and um, iridescent silver it reflects the light okay when I move it it reflects differently the light this tends to absorb the light as uh, every uh, black color absorb the light white reflect the lights uh, the light sorry black absorb the light here i have a mix of an iridescent color so a metallic color that reflect lights with some black pure black that absorb light the effect i wanted is something that is not considered wood or plastic or uh, <laughs> styrofoam but this is the exact reflection could have had a metallic pole a metallic uh, uh, construction uh, because it reflects light light it reflects light like metal okay and even from the distance even from the top here I will have reflection okay metallic against not metallic uh, little secret there <laughs> one of my other technique to simulate uh, metal. I've never used it last year or this year or this season or last season. So this is the first time you've seen me using it. Now, let's complete this little project. And by the way, uh, I am not totally satisfied with this. Okay, this end here, one, two, three ends there. So what I made, ta-da! I made those three things, okay? Those three things, what are those things? Nothing less than three of these washers superposed on one on top of the other, like for, for base, for the base there, glued together with super glue. 
and I've used one of my bigger, no, not bigger, one of those uh, styrofoam uh, balls, styrofoam spheres. So three of these washers glued together, then I've glued this on top of the three washers there, and then I painted uh, and the three uh, supports there with the same mix of black and uh, metallic or of iridescent silver I there made there. You can still see the washer there and the white of the, I don't know if you can see it, maybe like that, the washer, the metallic washer and the white of the bowl of the sphere inside. Sorry for my dirty hands, guys. And where do I want to put them? Okay, some white glue. This is not too uh, Victorian. I need some something else to make it some more Victorian. So let me grab some uh, tip of a skewer there. I have three of them, the exact same eight. Okay, I will put some glue inside the hole there. I will go with the skewer there some more glue and then I will go in the middle there already different okay guys for me at least now uh, I will wait for a moment that I need to dry obviously uh, I need to complete this one then I will have to clean the the hooks there I will use a skewer to clean them and remove the painting let's do it right now Not perfectly clean, I don't want them perfectly clean. Then, my last thing to do here, and you have already seen the preview last time. Okay, a little problem there, but this is what I wanted, okay? Something that is not fixed, something that is movable, okay? That can move here and there, 
okay? Uh, I thought this would be impossible without the chain, but no. And I wanted something having here, let me put it there, having 2.5 centimeters from here to there. I don't know if I'm there, but I'm really close. 2.3 2.4 centimeters and these will be going there I don't know if you can see but it is movable and this is something between Victorian era and um, far west and European and everything else modern but old modern but ancient a transition between what you have seen me doing last week last with part 12 so so thrill see here so bold okay yes so bold um, <laughs> and this is how I will put it near the uh, construction site there um, maybe I no uh, you will see when I will do the uh, outro or the final recap of this part 13 where I will place it and uh, with uh, my nun uh, in the near, okay, nearby and this will move and static, staticity or two static elements are not good for any project, any Christmas village but this is moving, okay? So I think, uh, okay, uh, I will not have some uh, wine <laughs> when I will film that, but this is movable. Even the uh, minimum of, uh, of uh, vibration tends to make it move. So this is, well, obviously it tends to go that way to fall down because it is very heavy there, but I will place some skewer there and then I will fix it on the on the layout, okay? And then some uh, two-sided tape or uh, maybe some, uh, some glue, I don't know yet, okay? This is the result and back side there, some wood, okay? Some wood with some icy uh, things, with some icy color there, painting, mm, so I did black then uh, light brown, then sienna brown, then dry white brush, uh, black, brown and sienna horizontally as always, dry white brush only vertically. And here I went on one on the only direction, this direction, vertical, even here vertical, here vertical and here too, okay? And this is the result. Let's go with something else, guys. We are building your future hopes. Bye. Let's talk about the hardware, the pillar there. It's a little bit naked, okay? A little bit too naked. I need some little stairs uh, and I need also something else. Let's start by some uh, bit there, some uh, pier bit or um, uh, bollard, uh, okay? And I will do this one. I printed it on a paper and I will use a model to do this. So I'm going to uh, cut
place it there it's not on a flat surface okay so I will place it right there okay good waiting waiting for your hunger not been Leather here, the little stair, the little leather is uh, done. Okay, I will leave it right there. I need some rope up here, though, without a rope, it's nothing. I will do right now the rope. I will, first of all, I will fix the tip there. Here I have a big hose clamp, okay, and I will use it. like that maybe okay a rope on a pier on the docks is a must okay so i will use it like that it is time to continue with the uh, waterfall the little waterfall here i need to fix the water pump and the pvc pipe and the rocks here in the front and this will be some difficult uh, let's start with the water pump there Lay your trust, your burden Lay your hope on me yeah. Take this love that I got yeah. If you want it Life sends this love around This is done think about this side here I hope to still remember how I placed the rocks originally one two three four five six seven three six seven rocks Okay, I will use hot glue in this case, yes, hot glue to fix them. Uh, they are too big to be used with PVC glue and they are too big for and too irregular for use with uh, um, super glue, with the sun acrylic super glue. Um, so I will go with hot glue. I don't like hot glue, too messy, but in this case I will use hot glue, hoping that the rocks are hot enough, uh, not too cold, otherwise the hot glue will be useless. This one 
I don't know. This one I will not glue right now because this is the key piece in order to avoid every and single one of the splashes. So I remember this little piece here, but I don't know if maybe like that it is better. I don't know. I will glue it as last reserves. Okay? So I will try and go with some water. Let's start. I will try this position here. To power. To power. Okay, let's go once again. Okay. Let's go up with the power. Okay, this table, the rocks are fixed. This part is done. Uh, <clears throat> let's go and uh, uh, empty the water because I need to transport it. Then and voila, the little waterfall is where it needs to be. But I still need to do a lot of work here. Let me just go ahead with this section. I will start the hard work. I will start the uh, the real work right now. First problem: the power cord here. I need to connect the pump to the sector, okay? But all around the um, the waterfall. Let me show you here. I have the railroad so i certainly cannot go this way uh, okay so i need to find a solution my solution is to make a hole there let me just place the camera a little better in order to let you see what i will be going to do i will need to do oops very difficult in this case place the camera. Let's try there. I will make a hole there and I will get through with the power cord. Okay? By yourself, but you'll miss me when it's getting late. Got it all, babe. Save arms when you're ready. I'm here when you need me. I'm yours if you'll help me. Got it all, babe. Save arms when you're ready. I'm here when you need me. I'm yours if you let go, boy. Loving is a safe card. You don't have to play hard. Loving, let go, boy. Now, the top here.
it all, but it won't end. You are never true to heart. Okay, guys, so right now it is connected, the base is connected to the supports there, to the skewers. It is a little too much mobile right now because I haven't the gravity making the difference with all the buildings on top of the uh, level here on the uh, North Pole section there and it is uh, quite mobile. I will try to do some more fixing then I will start for the first time this season to use my rock paper. A little change of point of view guys. Here I have my big pins, my small pins, my scissors there and obviously my rock paper and you know that I generally restock my pile of rock paper way before the end of the season so I have a bunch of them left. Uh, where to find the rock paper online? I think there is a long uh, comments or many comments on part 10 of last year a series so 2020 a series part 10 uh, i will start with the rock paper and i think as always And I think I'm going all around it. You need me when it's getting dark. Got it all, babe. Say once when you're ready. I'm here when you need me. I'm yours if you let me. Got it all, babe. Say once when you're ready. I'm here when you need me. I'm yours. Must has been made for at least for me 
or filling the gaps here and there where I can have continuity between one type of material and my rock paper. So moss and glue, PVC glue and a brush and let's go. Final recap of this part 13 of the 2021 series and I'm starting right there from the uh, waterfall, the mini, the small waterfall. You have seen me working on it and still uh, uh, far from being finished, I just mm, began the work on it and it's not switched on simply because I need to wait for the uh, uh, PVC glue to dry completely otherwise i will wash out all the uh, glue with some splash here and there the moss the moss i use the moss not uh, just for adding some good effect to the um, wall of the waterfall i also use it to mask what i don't want you to see in this case i masked here there the holes i had there where the the junction was visible between the found, the mini waterfall and the paper there so with some two two types of uh, moss now it is hided also here i had the junction between two pieces of rock paper uh, hided here it is the continuity of what i have here going on so also the moss is masking part of the gap here because i simply need this part here free in order to to the uh, in order to get the water flowing correctly towards the rocks there. Also, the moss here is masking the border, the division between, the, the, the gap between the uh, styrofoam and the uh, plastic of the um, waterfall, okay? And from the other side too, I used the moss to mask everything. I didn't want you to see the gaps, the holes, etc. I've used two types of uh, of moss as always because uh, just a simple one is not good for me. I want different colors all along my um, my scenes. Okay, and this is how I did. Okay, maybe I will need to uh, adjust here and there something because uh, this is not the final version, and uh, uh, I'm. For the first time I've used this season the rock paper and I will use it forever. It is a great addition to any Christmas uh, village if you want to create some mountains, if you want to hide something, if you want to be creative, okay? And uh, so what's next here? Nothing has uh, changed. 
Uh, hello, Mercury. Hello, Athena. Uh, nothing has changed. I progressed a little bit on the uh, on the other section there. Okay, uh, you have seen the rope. It is now there. The rope, the two uh, red bits there, uh, in order to have the <laughs> rope for uh, from the uh, boat to be secured on the uh, pier. Uh, still uh, need to add uh, some more items there than people than sand here. I decided to go with simply some sand here. Two different colors because I need to have um, a wet sand here in proximity of the waves and then uh, dry sand uh, once I get in uh, towards the stairs. I also added the a wall there completely all along the uh, wall there inside the uh, wall there the um, another kind of wall there this will be masked here the corner there will be masked by the building i still need to review before adding it there in that spot and here i added uh, the fences my canal fences all along here and the um, and the pavement there, the cobblestones pavement, uh, as I always did, it is the same as inside and outside. And here, all along here, I went through with the same balusters and end rails I've used there for the stairs. I also used it here, all along the stairs that is going towards the tower, the watchtower. I added the wall here, I added the wall down there and also the mini platform here because it was finishing there but i added this space here in order to get access to the stairs and also for not having to cut the canal fences somehow uh, i managed to get uh, one two three four no one two three four uh, five six uh, seven canal fences entirely without having to cut anything about them. This is starting to uh, be uh, somehow complete. Uh, oh yes, I also added some more crystal clear silicon sealant there as I did the first time you have seen me using it for the water because I needed some more water splashing towards the wall. So I've added here and there some more spot of uh, white uh, white uh, water. Obviously I've used some uh, silicon sealant mixed with some blue uh, co blue paint. And then once it was it was dried, I used my um, my um, usual acrylic colors to paint over the uh, the uh, silicon. Also here the mini stairs, the little stairs, the mini ladder there. It is painted. I've added also some more splashes here and there. And now this is fixed. I cannot move it anymore. Uh, some more silicon sealant here on the um, on the main uh, points there. Okay, here too, and I've painted there. Also there, some more silicon sealant, and I painted it uh, there. Oh yes, the walls inside there, oh, the wall there, and the wall here. Okay, um, <laughs> the most intensive work I've done is here, and on the waterfall and down there. As concerning uh, here, you have seen me building the post here, the signpost there. Let me fix the camera there. And now it is right there. So when still need to finish everything, but it is gigantic, I know, but I wanted it like that. I want it to be visible from the first level, from the Greek park, it needs to be uh, visible. Giant and it is moving, etc., etc. You have the impression that this is not perfectly vertical. In fact, it is not 100% vertical, but this is like in reality uh, it is very heavy there so um, 
you see it's almost an 89 degrees, one degrees. Then I've also painted the uh, columns there. I didn't want the uh, columns there to be uh, pure uh, white or pure uh, styrofoam. So what I did, I wrapped around them some crystal clear uh, plastic, very uh, thin, uh, the same I've used there, the same plastic I've used for the uh, windows there, and I wrapped them around, and then I painted, because painting with the uh, expanded styrofoam with just some painting, you don't get the, a good result, so I wrapped them around like that, also the other two have been painted, <laughs> I've painted them. Um, Nothing else for the moment here. I still need to work on it. I still need to add some more details concerning the construction site because this is a construction site. Okay, and the color here. I don't. Uh, I don't know if you can appreciate the uh, the reflection of the metal there, but I can assure you that it is reflecting lights as metal uh, with the mix I've made of black and iridescent silver. And I think it is all uh, for now. Uh, yes, it is all. Also the monuments here, the European monuments are uh, visible. Um, Bold, yes, I'm bold with this, but I stand with it and I will uh, continue with it and I will modify it a little bit in order to add something more, okay? Uh, no more big surface to cover, but this is how it will uh, go from now on. I will add uh, uh, details over details over details over details over details over details. Up to this point, there was still too much white visible, and I ate white. No, no, sorry, not entirely true. The only white I want to be visible is the snow I will sparse on the village two or three days before going live and declaring the project finished. But for now, the rock paper up there on the left is helping me hiding what is still bothering me, all the white from the styrofoam panels. And it will also start helping me connecting all the different areas there. Ancient Greek part there, on this section that I still don't know how to call it because I haven't figured out uh, how to manage it. The pier section, the medieval building, the construction sites all along with the railroad there too fragmented, as if they were separate little Christmas villages made by different people living all together in this room. I need the help of the rock paper, but also of the figurines of the um, buildings of the street furnitures to make the connections here and there and to make a very dense Christmas village. I love dense Christmas either very populated, very maybe overpopulated, but it is how it takes life. <laughs> Someone may think that all I did in the past months was uh, hard work. No, the real hard work is only starting now. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English, and if you wish, see you next time.